Mother -ker. You gotta be kidding me, man. Dude had a fucking tracker on our car. Tracker on our vehicle. Feels so violated, man. This is all adding up. We end up at a dead end. What the f place looks pretty creepy, Hello. doesn't it? But this right here. This person is obviously crazy. Hey, you wanna hear something crazy? What? That white car that was back there? Shut up. Just pulled out. Shut up. I wonder if that's him. Dude, we just pulled out and they just pulled out right behind us. We just found a tracker on the car in the last video. Today we are going to Metro. Our friend works at a cell phone company there and we're gonna see if our phones are hacked. And then we're gonna do some random knots. Guys, that's right. Me and Alicia are getting ready to turn it up a notch here today. I hope you guys are ready. We're gonna go see if our phones are hacked and tapped. Man, in that last video, we found a tracker underneath the hood of our car. <laughs> I want to give a big shout out to everybody out there though. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and Mrs. HTD. Smash that thumbs up. Let's turn up right now. Guys, it's electrical fence day. Yay. Uh, we got all the posts. We got the concrete. We're waiting on Lorenzo to get here. Uh, he's got the barbed wire. He's got the electrical wire. Uh, he's got everything else. Man, yeah, I'm pretty stoked, dude. Getting this extra measure of security up. On the way to the cell phone place right now. I mean, do you think they're going to find a bug on our phone? Who knows? A lot of people were saying that we shouldn't have thrown the tracker in the lake, that we should have took it to the police, but... I don't know, what do you think? The police haven't done anything before. Right. The shows on the police reports. That's true. Guys, we're doing our first rando knot of the day, and so far, so good. We have been on the road for a few minutes now, haven't seen this stalker dude, and uh, hopefully we don't, but you never know. We're up early today, maybe he's not. I cannot wait to see if my friend finds anything on my phone. Uh, a lot of people are saying that he has my phone hacked and tapped as well. And to be honest, I don't really know what that means. Like, how do you how do you do that? I know hackers can do anything. And recently, a friend of mine told me that he was hacked by an old friend and that it's caused him a lot of trouble. But a lot of things have come to light recently and we just gotta all watch our backs at this moment. So our intent for today was to find something cool i know that's weird like just find something cool but yeah just something cool i don't care what it is today that's what we're doing we're not trying to find anywhere haunted we're not trying to find something creepy we just want to find something cool is it generating yes, yes it is all right so it looks like it's taking us to somebody's house like straight up alicia just pulled it up this is where it's taking us exactly where the pinpoint is. We aren't going to find anything cool at somebody's house because we can't just explore somebody's house. No. What do you know, we're on those back country roads once again. I will say I prefer rando nodding during the day though. Um, I noticed with the last video we did at night, it's really hard for people to see all the beautiful scenery that you know surrounds us. Even in bad situations, being chased or followed by a stalker, like there's still beauty to be seen. So I don't know why it would be bringing us to this place. It used to be an auction place. It doesn't look like it is anymore. Concrete. It's a concrete place? Yeah. Okay. I don't... Oh, man. I don't know. This looks sketchy back here. Should I see what's down here? Go. I've never been all the way back here. Have you? No. Oh, sh Okay, so it is a concrete place. There's something that's always been creepy to me about concrete places, especially doing like the ghost hunting thing. Like I've always wanted to like investigate them because I know a lot of freak accidents happen. You know, people are, are working on their, uh, on their machinery and they fall into the concrete and they never find them or they don't want to find them when they find them because it's pretty bad. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here you know what, maybe we'll go to the cell phone place and we'll do a few random knots after. And we gotta definitely grab some neat because I'm starving. Go to the right. All right, so this time it's taking us. Oh, oh man. No. Yeah. I can't really, can't really go up. behind here like that. Is it one, okay. It's on the other end. Yeah. Right there. 
Right here? Where? Right here. Okay. Where that bird is. All right. Right where the bird is? Yeah. Guys, I just noticed all those rocks right there. Why does it always look like there's a bunch of rocks in the shape of like a little person or a full-size human? I don't know. I mean, I highly doubt there's a, a dead body buried right behind this place, but... This is where it wanted us to go. That's kind of unique. Got to keep my eyes open for the stalker dude. Oh no, man. There's a lake right there. I always get scared when it sends us by lakes. I feel like lakes are like prime places for like people to like throw dead bodies. And I feel like I'm always gonna find one. I don't know. Dude. Tell me that's not what I think it is. At least, oh my God. Tell me that's not what I think it is. Dude. You've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Hey, open that up. Why? Open it up. How would he know how? You've got to be sh Dude, another one? A freaking another one. Are you serious? Dude. I don't even know what to I don't even know what to make of this no more, dude. What I think about your drawing. If you're looking, that's what I think about your drawing. That's what I think. Right there. I'm gonna go throw it in that dumpster right there. Hope you're watching. There is a white car over there. Okay, it's gloves. Why the pictures? That's what I don't get. Go back and watch all the Randonautica videos me and my wife been doing lately. He's leaving pictures for us everywhere. They're creepy as hell, dude. Look, the guy thinks he's freaking Michelangelo, Picasso. It's freaking weird. All right, guys, that was not cool. My intention for today, our intention, was to find something cool. I don't, I don't want to find, those drawings are not cool, man. They freaking suck, bro. Yo, I just got a $5 Biggie bag. I'm notorious like Biggie swag. And then my stock show up, I'm gonna beat him with the Billy bag. All right, so my little chicken head got some chicken. Yes, she did. And I went ahead and got the Southwest avocado chicken salad because I am on my sixth day on my diet. So I'm trying to eat right. All right, guys, so we are going to drop off some donations real quick at uh, this thrift store and, and by the way man thank you guys so much there was a lot of people that hit me up and said they helped them out big shouts out to you guys man because they're helping people out over here at the food pantry and uh oh no they're closed what they're supposed to be open today aren't they yeah today damn we got like four bags of things for them too Soon as I get the opportunity, I'm gonna go ahead and jump across this highway right here because it says that we have to go down here and it looks like the pinpoint is somewhere on the left. So once we get there, I'm gonna get out and look around. Come on, man. Somebody let me go, man. Somebody let me go. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. At least she told me I'm the best driver that she's ever driven with in her life. Hush. Did that food fill you up? No. No. Did I? Last night? Oh. 800 feet, turn left onto West Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. All right, so we're turning left onto Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard right now. 
it brought us down here like five or six videos ago. I don't really remember. There was like a blue house that was on the right. Oh, <gasps> it, it just said it turn right up here. Dude, it's taking us back to that same freaking house. What? Hold on. Yeah, this place is creepy, dude. What? Oh, sh I know, I know, I know. Maybe I should get out and take a look again. Hey, Alicia, you want to know something? What? What's over there? Look on the other side of that fence. There's a white freaking car. Hey, throw it in park for me. I just want to see you grab my stick. All right, so this is super sketchy, dude but it's brought us here for a second time. Now, I know a lot of people have a white car. Maybe that white car has nothing to do with anything, but there is a white car at the location it sent us to. Dude, this place is super creepola. Okay, that car looks like it's a Kia, so. I'm pretty sure the last car that was following us was a white Cavalier. You gotta watch out for snakes, man. The f was that? I'm like 90% sure that was a freaking gunshot, dude. What? The I'm just wondering if there was something we missed here, like... I don't know if that bag was here before. I don't know, man. This place looks super sketch, dude. So I just talked to my friend at the cell phone company. He had some customers keeping him busy. So we're heading back over there right now. Hopefully he's going to be freed up by the time we get there. I really want to find out, dude, if our phones are hacked. All right, let's change our intent to happiness. Okay. Right? You want to go happiness? Yeah. I mean, I already found happiness because, I mean, I found you. All right, let's do it. It's flying. Fly us all the way to happiness. Oh man. My eyes just started hurting. They've never been able to handle such beauty. <laughs> yeah. All right guys, so supposedly right now, uh, the app is taking us to happiness. And I'm, I mean, I'm already super happy, but you know what? You can never have enough happiness in your life. Um, hey, look, we're not being followed by a stucker today. No stuckers. See, look, no stucker. I mean, that, I've already found happiness today. There's no stalker. Of course, we did find the creepy drawing. Maybe he doesn't, maybe he thinks that we're always going to look for something creepy. Maybe if we start changing our intent, we won't run into as much crazy stuff. All right, so right now I'm following Alicia's directions. All right, so how far are we away from this one? Seven minutes. Seven minions. Okay. Have you found happiness? What makes you the happiest? This guy. This guy? Mm -hmm. What's his name? Well, continue on Cobb Road for one and a half miles. Sure, stop telling me what to do. Sometimes I feel like what I'm married to this app. And I just want to say, shut up woman, shut up. I don't know why my blinker was on. We're not turning here. Hey, what's she looking at? Guys, I swear we are getting closer. For all the people that don't care for the long drives, I'm I'm sorry, but for you to truly be on the adventure, you have to see some of this. Okay. We'll do it. We'll take a right. One mile. It is a gorgeous day out today. It's very beautiful. How are you feeling right now? Good. Thinking about my happiness. Anything that would make you happy for Christmas that you would like? What? An Instapot. An Instapot? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy you one today. Okay. All right? Okay. You're gonna get an Instapot. I bet a lot of marijuana smokers watching this channel right now are like, I want Instapot too. Give me some Instapot. Yeah, man. Give me the Instapot. Crosses. <laughs> we are getting hotter and hotter. 
water. Next right onto Ponce de Leon Boulevard, then turn right onto Flagstone Road. Geez, how many rights are we gonna take? This is crazy. When this is all over, you're gonna say I was right. I was right. No, I was right. You were wrong. Don't ever try and turn this around on me. Turn right here. Okay. Flagstone. All right, we're gonna turn right. Take the next right onto Flagstone Road. That was weird. And then take another right. Then come right inside. Oh, sugar balls. In 1,000 feet, you will arrive at your destination. I really don't feel like we're gonna find happiness on a dirt road going to somebody's private property, what it looks like. Um, Holy Testicle Tuesday, yeah. It wants us to go all the way down there. All the way? Look. See? Oh. That's somebody's private property, we just can't be it is somebody's private property for sure, oh, right? Somebody's house, yeah. Yeah. Not happening. Damn, man, that sucks though. See, that's what sucks about the app, guys, is sometimes it takes you to places that you can't explore. You can't do nothing with. I can't do nothing with this. I just want to show you guys, this is Flagstone Road that it took us to, but it says private at the end of the sign. I don't know if you can see it there. And um, then on the app, you can see, it took us to Flagstone Road. Sucks, didn't work out, but hey, it's okay. I mean, we're definitely not gonna find happiness in somebody else's home. Can you imagine that? They walk out there, hey, what are you doing on my property? We're looking for happiness. Boom, mother So I just came up with a really good intent. Do you wanna hear it? Go ahead. Do you wanna hear it? Go ahead. Are you sure? Go ahead. You ready? Go ahead. Okay. I want to find a haunted place that I can buy that that's for sale or I don't care if it's land I don't care if it's a okay. building a house I want to find a haunted place that I can buy can we do that can we set that as the intention of haunt, I want to find a haunted place pull over right here buy. it's cheap super cheap all right app I want you to take me to a place mm. what's that say no true anomaly available what why did it do that? Why? 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 Why did it do that? Because you don't need it. <gasps> Look, it did it again. <laughs> I want a haunted place. Take me to a haunted place that I can buy that's for sale, please. Breathe. <sighs> Push. Clear your mind. Okay, now take me to a haunted place. Okay, okay, I can't. <laughs> All right, five minutes later, finally, we are heading to, I guess, a haunted place. Who knows? I think I've tapped all the haunted places in the area. If there was somewhere that had some truly haunted, haunted claims, I would have already found it. Shoot. Let's see. Wouldn't it be funny? It takes us back to the Flagstone Road where we... <laughs> at the end of that street, there's a haunted place. It's for sale. That's private, and you're not a welcome there. Turn right here on the left. Dude, see, you confuse me turn when you right say that. Turn right here on the left. See, see, turn left. That place is for sale, but that's surely not haunted. Is it? Do you think that's haunted? Whoa! An old auto salvage. What? Hold on, I'm going to get out real quick. You know what, man? This actually looks like a place that would possibly be haunted. But I seen, it does have a sign that says it's for sale. What? You know what? I just happen to have my spirit box with me. We're gonna ask the spirits if it's haunted. Playing tricks on me? I thought I seen it move. See, look. Whoa. You see what I'm seeing? I think. Here, the best thing to do is ask the spirits. Is this place haunted? We're looking for a haunted property to buy. Is this place haunted? All right, I don't really know if it told us if it's haunted or not, but we definitely got one creepy response through there, that's for sure. One thing's for sure, I am not interested in buying this place. Uh, it may be haunted, but guess what? 
This does not look appealing to me. All right, guys, so I'm here with my buddy Craig right now. Dude, I got a situation. So I've been dealing with the stalker, right? Mm -hmm. And we found a tracking device on our car. We chucked it into the lake yesterday, but a lot of my supporters are telling me that they think my phone is hacked. Can you check it out for me and just see if you find a bug maybe? Sure, right. of course. So give me a few minutes and I, I'm gonna see if anything's wrong with it, okay? Cool, man, yeah, thank I'm you so much, dude. Dude, what do you think? You think he's gonna find his act? I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, Fucking freaking bro. I don't know what to do. So, dude, we're gonna find out any second now if this phone is hacked. All right, what's up? All right, man. So, bad news is your phone has been hacked. Okay. I'm gonna tell you about that. But the good news is I wiped out everything for you and we can change your number. Dude, oh, you are the man, bro. Yes, Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, do you watch a lot of YouTube? I sure do. Do you have a YouTube channel? I, I do. Okay. I do. What's the name of it? Uh, my channel name is First Class. I'll leave a link to the uh, uh, in the description below for it, okay? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Cool. I greatly appreciate that. Awesome, man. Here you go, man. This is my gift to you. Oh, man. The last time I was here, you hooked me up with a comic, too. What? Dude, that's awesome. I love Batman Beyond too. I mean, yeah, obviously yeah. I got it tattooed on me, but yeah. that's so cool, man. Are you sure, bro? I'm sure. Damn, dude, yours, thanks, man. man. The it's final joke. Yeah, the joke is back. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, thanks, man. bro. Again, man, I feel so violated, dude. My friggin' phone was hacked. You guys were right. You guys are always right. Always listen to your fans. So my buddy said that he found a bug in the phone. He said, dude, you have been being, you are being tracked. That's just crazy to me. Like, how did somebody sneak a little curse into my phone? I guess there's not a lot hackers can't do nowadays, but one thing about the stalker is he definitely is a real deal hacker. Again, this guy's art, but his hacking skills, I don't know, man. I don't know, it's pretty crazy. I never thought in my life that my phone would be hacked. Welcome to YouTube, huh? You're gonna get hacked. Anyways, I'm heading home right now. I'm gonna see how my electrical fence is coming, guys. And I'm waiting for my beautiful wife to get the hell out of this store. All right, guys, so my boy Lorenzo started on the electrical fence here today, and he's got it posted up, man. Right now, it's, you know, it's concrete, it's sitting. Yeah, I'm super stoked that we got this extra form of security going up here. It's just a little something extra. The main thing with this stalker situation is, is there's a guy, he knows where we live, but he's had plenty of opportunities to hurt us. If he really wanted to, he could have. But see, now the ball's on our court. We got plenty of evidence. You guys know what's going on. And I put it out there, bro. I've got a bullet with his name on it. He sent me one with my name. I got one with his. Okay, guys, so we're here at the end of it. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Me and Pinkie Pie, we love you guys. Thank you so much. I see y'all plotting. Me, and my wife, be play this sad bitch. You know we rockin'. Randall Nautica in my Nautica. Got that Monica, yes, she do. Found a creepy drawing man that led me here to the zoo. Some wanna date me, some wanna rape me, some wanna troll, man, some wanna hate me. But I'm 200k and I've had a good day, and I give a fuck cause I still get paid. Oh, Jody Dean, yeah, he's got an ego. Say what you want, but I kill like chemo. Swimming like Nemo, a bandit cathedral. Say I'm number one, bitch, no fucking sequel. Randall Nautica in my not a good bitch name, got to go what? Oh, Rando not a good in my not a good bitch name, got to go what? Oh, Rando not a good in my not a good bitch name, got to go what? Oh, bitch name, got to go, bitch name, got to go, bitch name, got to go what? Oh.